Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. My name is Daniela and it's the 2nd of December. Uh, time flies and since it's the beginning of a new month it means I have an empties video for you. And my bucket, as, as many of you know, perhaps if you have seen my previous videos, I started this year with a fruit basket but it had holes in it so all the small items just like disappeared from the bucket uh, well the fruit basket I would say and then I got this bucket I had a plant in this, in this and then the plant died and now it's instead a lot of my empties in this and this year, uh, this month it took well it started off really slow and then it got like this and it's stuffed with things uh, about one week before the month was over, I posted to my Instagram like these are the five items I would like to use up in this week until next month uh, starts. And of those five items, I actually used up four of them. The only the one single item that I didn't use up was this one. This is uh, from Yves Rocher or Yves Rocher, I don't know how you pronounce it, I don't speak French. This is the anti-breakage nail treatment and it's only 10 grams, so um, 0.35 ounces. Um, I've had this for a long, long time and to be honest, it's so, so little in this, but I'm going to roll it over to December and try to use it up in December. Uh, otherwise, the four other items I used uh, up, so I had five, but the only one that didn't make it was this one and I have already like um, taken out new items for those four items that I used up to start using now in December and continue to use because it's gonna take me a little bit while so what do I usually start with? I start with shower items and actually to my surprise I have Two shampoos, but no conditioner. <laughs> uh, this shampoo um, is for you that has watched my my empty videos a long time. You know I have a lot of items from Mercadona, this um, the food uh, store in uh, Spain, and this is also from Mercadona. And I actually, when I was in Spain now in the beginning of November, I used this up, and I actually brought it home in my hand luggage where I only can have 8 kilos of items but I brought this home just so I can show you this so this is shampoo exotic for normal hair, hair and it's, it has a um, UV filter in it it says it here and it smells really good this is 400 milliliters so I had this uh, this summer because I was in our apartment three weeks in the beginning of the summer and now I used it up and I actually do have one more bottle and I did take that bottle with me home so I have a uh, one more bottle of this complete full so yeah and on the last day of November I used up this this is the Garnier Fructis strengthening shampoo densify with the uh, fibrocellane and pomegranate extract so yeah, this is 250 milliliters, and I do also have the the conditioner, but as I said, I haven't used that up. So I used the shampoo up before the conditioner. So yeah, but I will th that will probably be gone like next week, some sometime in the begin. I think in the beginning of next week. Um, what I also used up, and as I said in when I did my haul for this is you will probably never see this again because this is the bubble tea bath and body moroccan mint tea bath fizzer looks like this i bought this when i was in malaga when i was in spain i went into primor and i was like i need something because i had woken up really early that day it was a monday uh, we dro my godmother drove to the airport and then we sat on a playing for four hours and then I went out walking with my friends that I met up and I walked almost was it 17 or 18 kilometers that day and we went up to the castle in, in Malaga and that's just uphill the whole time so I was super tired I had pain in my in my legs so 
at the hotel we had a bathtub so I took advantage of that because I don't have a bathtub here nor in Spain we only have showers so I bought this and this cost me 250 euros it was a blue bath fitter smelled really nice and as it says, it's Moroccan mint tea, so it smells really, really nice. And other items for the bath, let's see. Well, I used this in the bath um, when I was taking my showers. And it's this Lumine Refreshing uh, Cleansing Foam, Bright Touch, for all skin types. This is how many milliliters? Uh, 150 milliliters. And here on the side, perhaps you can see I have done markings on it. So I started off in May, the 14th of May, I started with this one. And I have a big, big usage from the 14th of May to the 1st of June. Then from the 1st of June to the 1st of August, it's not that much because I didn't bring this with me when I was in the apartment. Since this is 150, I couldn't bring it with me. I did bring this with me. When I was in Alicante, I think. Yeah, I think so. Because there is a usage here from the 1st to first of June to the 1st of uh, August. And then I finished this up um, like one week ago, or one and a half week ago. So I'm actually using another face product. I do have a new of this, but it's not... Well, it's behind me, but it's not really the same because they have changed the, the color of the the bottles and also the names of it so I was like this is not the same but the girl in the store she was like well it's kind of the same it's like the same the same but not the same well, I don't know how to explain but yeah so that this one I used to clean my face uh, another actually hair product that I also use when I'm in the shower is this organic fig and almond express shine hair mask and this one I got for my friend Sarah. She bought it as a little gift for me. This is 250 milliliters and I think it took me three or four times, four times I think, to use it up. It smells so good. Or perhaps I still can. Mm, yeah, it still smells. And I don't know if it did anything because after she bought this, I cut my hair off and well, I cut off the parts that were mostly dead, like all your hair is dead but mostly damaged I would say and after that when I have now when I have my short hair I've used this and it leaves my hair really smooth but I don't know if because of this or shampoo and everything else I use so I don't know but uh, it smells really good and perhaps it makes a difference I don't know we will see when I grow out my hair and perhaps I can buy that again and see if it works for my long hair Um, other things from the shower Actually, there is a lot. Sorry for the noise. Taking out things. Well, I have two. This is the rituals. This is the ritual of hammam. This is sea salt hot scrub with warming ginger and eucalyptus. Looks like this. This I got um, this summer when I was in Spain uh, with the um, magazine Glamour. And actually now also when I now in November when I went they sold the same one again with Glamour so I bought one more so I have used already used one in July August August July I think then now I used the, this up in November and now actually I have one more of this this size in my shower and then I also bought the big the big one when I was on the cruise to Finland Actually. but I do also have this this is the same thing but this is the ritual of Sakura so the other ones were ritual of Hammam so Hammam is the Mor Moroccan uh, bath ritual that they have so ritual of Sakura is the Japanese I will say uh, celebrate each day body scrub organic rice and cherry blossom and this this is actually sugar so the other one was salt, but this is sugar. Uh, and you should perhaps not eat this, but I got a little bit in my mouth and it's, it was really sweet and tasted good. Um, and it smells so good. I actually have both, well, a body oil and um, 
like a um, shower what is it called shower mousse and then also the body lotion of this so I really recommend this that I think was all from bathroom items yes I think so I think so we will see perhaps I will find something more one of the items that I wanted to use up as I said uh, I posted to my Instagram like a week before the month was over was uh, this this is the Hello Kitty by H&M Happy Green Pear uh, body butter and smells so good this was 190 grams actually it says in grams and not milliliters but this I had already started so it was perhaps down a like a small amount of down and this to be honest uh, it's my second yeah it's my second body butter that I've used up now this half year so I think the last one I used up in like August or September so from then so say September October November it took me three months to use this up which I feel is really good and I will try to use up more on my on my body lotions and body butters because I have is it six or seven I think it's six bottles or like this um, that I'm still will try to use up I know the last the last body lotion I bought was actually this month in like in November um, but some of the others I think the one I'm well the one that I'm replacing replacing this one with this one this <clears throat> uh, don't kill me um, I got for my birthday 2010 that is seven and a half years ago I got this for my friends when I was living in Barcelona and I know I've used a little bit of it because when I looked down there is a small amount gone and I know I've used it but I haven't used it in several years so now I'll try to use this up I mostly take this actually on my legs uh, because I do get a little bit dry legs uh, on my arms not so much but I did notice that I needed some lotions I'm, I'm gonna use it on my legs and my arms and as I say I will try to use up more this year than, than uh, like next year like than this year because now I've used up two so far but it takes me about three months and in the summer I do not use it because it's so warm then so that was one body uh, lotion I think I have yes I do have this is the Ritual, Ritual of Sakura, so the, from the same collection as this one. And this is the one I also have in a bigger bottle. This is the Celebrate Each Day as a New Beginning Body Cream with Organic Rice Milk and Cherry Blossom. Looks like this. And this I got uh, when I ordered items from Kix here in Sweden. And this is a 10 milliliter, um, I would say deluxe sample. So this is gone and I already purchased the bigger bottle. Um, let's see. One other of the items that I wanted to use up this month was this hand sanitizer. This is from Paradise Spa. I think that is a brand from is it Walmart. I think it's from Walmart. It's called Fresh Lavender. And this was 30 milliliters. So one, yeah, one fluid ounces. Smells really good and since this is gone also the hanger for it is going because it came like this I didn't have to buy uh, an extra it came like this and I did buy this was it I think it was last year uh, when we did the coast to coast trip so I bought it somewhere somewhere along the trip <laughs> I don't remember where so yeah that was item number two of the things of the four items I did use up the other the third item that I wanted to use up was actually this doesn't look like much and it wasn't that much to be honest I didn't like this this is the Anastasia Beverly Hills brow with in medium brown and as you can see perhaps I have done markings here on the cap 
Um, to be honest, I will never buy an Anastasia brow with again. I think it's overhyped and overpriced. Uh, I think this costs like 255, 250 Swedish crowns. So that is quite a lot actually. And um, it's not that much you will get in this. And to be honest, mine broke quite quick. So I think it, I started using it and then after a while I was like, I can't, and a piece of it like fell, fell out. And now in the end also, I know there is, like there is still, I think it's still a little bit piece still here, but it's broken and I can't get it out. So mm, I, will, I will stick to my, what is it, I have Maybelline, I think, the uh, pen I have in that one. But the, what I'm going to, from this I actually, I'm going to go from one Anastasia to another Anastasia. This is the Anastasia Tinted Brow Gel and this is in chocolate that I'm going to use now. So yeah, we will see. So that was item number three of the four items that I did use up, that I wanted to use up in the end of the month. But uh, I will talk about other things now. Um, I actually boost up... Do I have more? No. <laughs> Two toothpaste, but uh, in all honesty, this one uh, was actually the one I used up. Well, I used it up in like in the beginning of November, so like the second or the third of November. So this was mostly used in the previous month because this is a big tube. It's 125 milliliters, and this is only 75. So difference. Uh, and this one, to be honest, I also got help using it up because I brought this with me when we went to Spain. So it was my godmother, her cousin and me using it at the same time. So we were three people using it for a week. Uh, otherwise, well, I used it up and now I've started with another of these, I think. This is the one I always seem to use up. Um, I don't think I have any t other tooth items i do i actually did also do a little bit declutter so i will try to take those items in the end that's why i'm like trying to poke around here and not take those items first um let's see well i can take this actually this is not empty but not a declutter either because I've used this a lot. This is the depend nail polish remover dip in so you like dip in your nail uh, your finger and you then you twist a little bit and then everything will disappear. Um, this is really good. It says it's free from acetone oils, colors and perfume which is it is. This is 75 milliliters. This I actually got from the pen. They sent me this together with uh, nail polishes um, um, some files and other items that they wanted me to test out. Uh, this is not the first time I used this. I have used several of these before and I actually think like um, was it last year? I think I've thrown out like two or three of these. So I have already tested them. I do like them. The only problem with this if you have a lot of colorful nail polish on your nails in the end it will be a problem when you're going to take off well it's not going to be a problem to take off your nail polish but you're going to have stains so um, my mother has used this uh, and I have also used this uh, with red nail polish like nails that you have red nail polish and now when I used it last time when I took out my finger I was still like red around my finger and my nails were clean but around my fingers I was still red so the uh, the liquid that's in here the remover has been stained with so much red because there is so much pigment in it that it will stain my finger red now so that's why I say it's not it's not empty because it will never be empty it's always gonna be like liquid in this but it's not a declutter either because I don't want to give this to someone else because they're gonna be red around their nails or right, right uh, around their fingers. So I'm going to say this is empty even though it's not 
technically empty. So yeah, what else? Um, when we're talking about nails, we can then continue with one of the nails things. It's a ses Sesh Restore. Hard to say. Sesh Restore. This is a nail polish thinner. And I use this when my nail polish starts to be a little bit gloopy and start to be... I had to use it to my top coat because when I was painting my top coat, there were like strings still from the bottle to my nail. So yeah, I needed this. And this is gone now. And I think I have one more bottle to use up. I wish they had like bigger bigger bottles with this so you can just restore all your nail polishes without problem. And uh, let's see. I'm going to take out the ones that are empty because I see I have a lot of decluttered items here in this. I will leave that in the bottom. Like that. Okay, now I'm done with those. So, this perhaps some people will say it's uh, TMI, but I don't care. I am of the female kind, and that means this pads. Uh, they are gone, so that's the thing. <laughs> um, something that also is gone, and I don't have anymore are these. These are the um, tissues that I buy at, again, Mercadona. These are with aloe vera and they are softer because I have a very sensitive nose, both outside and inside. Uh, outside because uh, when I am ill and I start to to blow, blow my nose, clean my nose, um, sometimes my nose starts to peel, like the whole nose. It's not that funny, but well. And I don't have any more of these. I will. I said I was going to buy uh, in my last empties. I was going to buy more when I went to Spain. I didn't do that because I didn't have room in my hand luggage because I bought so much else. Whoops. So yeah. Uh, other things that I've used up is this Tony Moly. Sorry, this Tony Moly Pandas Dream. So cool eye stick. Looks like this. Very cute panda. When you open it, it has a little more cap, and then it's actually like this. I know there's still um, products in it, but when I try to take it under my eyes, the plastic around scrapes my skin, and I'm not going to do that. I do have two more of these that I bought when I was in Alicante, so I bought three of them, because I thought they were so good, so I continued to buy more. And also from the same brand from Tony Moly, I have the Panda Stream Eye Patch. Um, you look really funny when you're using this, but and I think they were good. I don't know if it made me like it was so much improvement, but it was my first time using it. And it says here that these are, and obviously I've taken away the English part. It has um, a bamboo water extract in this. That much I can see. So yeah, I don't know. We will see. I have more of these. I have. I think I have three or four more of these that I bought this summer. Smells good. And let's see here. A big hallelujah moment. And this was actually also in the beginning of the month. I think it was like the second or the third, I think the second of the month and I had hoped to show you this already in the last month uh, empties but now I can finally do this. This is the ELF translucent, translucent, <sighs> ELF translucent mattifying powder, that's the name of it, hard to say. Looks like that and I don't know how many uh, grams it is but it looks like that. So it has this sponge that mm, I don't use. I used my um, brush from Real Techniques and I actually did um, take this out and put it in my MAC uh, palette where I have store everything. So it was actually empty and I have the, 
the the sticker left so I can put it in my my MAC palette but this is now gone thank god one powder out for my collection and I have already started with a new one which I have hit pan on yes um what else I have a hair tie I broke snapped in two like always uh, for my face I think it was law yeah it was last month I think I showed you my um face cream that I have been using that I departed to a smaller part and now was gone and I said I was using the Lancome Visionaire this was the last of them that I had uh, I got two of these um, deluxe si uh, size samples these are five milliliters I got them in Sephora at Al in Alicante I had to think it looks like this I think they're really good but as I said I think in last empties the big um, container from Lancome was five or six hundred I think so yeah and I still have a lot of samples from other brands that I'm trying to use up talking about samples let's see I do have wait I do actually have one it's not all perfumes. I thought it was all perfumes. But I do have a foil sample. This is, perhaps you can see, hopefully you can see this. It's the Biotherm Aquasource Ever Plump. It's really good actually. Uh, I think I've tested this out, but not. I, I think it was Ever Plump Night Cream or something like that. I think I've used several of these. So I have used this up and I think it was really good. Uh, I do think. I do think I have more of these. I have a stash of, um, of samples that I'm trying to like use up. Right now I'm using the Origins um, white tea something. I don't know. It's a, a small green bottle for my face. So it's I'm, I'm working through it. And that's why I'm doing this, the panning stuff and, and this stuff that to use up. I have two... Um, uh, refreshing tissues to clean my hands um, instead of the hand sanitizers. Uh, then <sighs> perfume samples. <laughs> uh, when I went to uh, Spain, I didn't want to bring my perfume because it's a big bottle and it's almost almost done. I can actually show you. It's almost done. As you can see, it's a little, little bit. And if I hadn't been in Spain, I think this would actually have been in this empties. So now you get a sneak peek. It will be in the other, in December month's empties. Oh, yeah. Okay, don't fall down on me. Um, but instead, I used uh, small um, samples when I went to Spain because the first two days we were going to be in Malaga and then we went to the to our apartment and in the apartment I do have a perfume so when we were in Malaga I used up uh, let's see Davidoff I don't know how to pronounce it Davidoff cool water wave and this is a sample 1.2 milliliters or 0 0.04 fluid ounces see if I can show you this and you can see that then I also used up because it's you from Ermo, uh, Emporio Armani so this was also 1.2 milliliters mm -hmm. and this one I actually got from Sephora this summer when I was in Alicante hope you can see that and if that wasn't all, I also used up, let's see here. No, yeah. Uh, Dolce & Gabbana Light Blue. So this foil package from the magazine. I used up Valentino. I think this is called Donna. Like this. I also used up two Prada Iris. So the two Prada Iris smelled really good. 
also two Prada but rose so all of these were from magazines and when I came home just to top things off uh, I was a little bit tired of the perfume uh, the perfume I was wearing so uh, I used up this Chloe that I also got from one of the magazines when I was in Spain and this is like you use it like this pull it up and then you spray it but Obviously, I've used it up and it's, but it smells so good, it's Chloe. So, yeah. Then, we have... I showed you... Like, I had five items I wanted to, to use up before the month was over. I showed you that I didn't use up this one. But the four I other items, I have already showed you now. The butter butter, the hand sanitizers, and the uh, brow pencil. The fourth item of the items that I did use up was this. This is the lip balm with Shea Butter from H&M. It's apple and vanilla. I know I do still have a little bit of product, but I'm not gonna stick my finger in there and, and trying to get it out. And I do have a hair. Okay, nice. Uh, this is actually a quite a big um, container. It's 15 grams, uh, 0 0.53 uh, ounces. And as you can see here on the back, I have uh, done markings. And the markings are when you twist it all down and then like mark it. So that was the last one, but I think it's like here somewhere we, if I twist it all down. And I've already like incorporated new items in my um, daily use. And since this is out, this came in and it's the same. It's the same lip balm with uh, Shea Butter, just that this is with passion fruit and this was with apple and vanilla. So yes, then I have an item that, I don't know if I can say it's actually empty empty, because it's not, not kind of, oh, I will tell you the story. This is the uh, OPI Cajun Shrimp. I think I've showed you this, uh, um, these small bottles before. Uh, I purchase a uh, Cajun shrimp the big bottle from a sailor on internet and when I got it it wasn't it wasn't full but I knew it's it's like that when they have already used it so I actually dumped my small Cajun shrimp this is uh, 3.75 milliliters so one eighth I think it's one eighth of fluid ounces to my big bottle and I did, I know I did the same uh, thing with my Malaga wine that I had. Um, that I got also like a half year ago, I think. So I, this is not the first time. So in a way it's not empty. It's just been incorporated to the big product. I will call it empty though. Um, so that was the empty uh, stuff. And then I actually have some decluttered items. <laughs> I went through my, whoops, uh, my uh, well makeup items uh, when I came home from uh, Spain. Uh, as you perhaps saw, if you have seen my uh, um, primer call, I bought a brush container to have the brushes in it. So when I went through all my brushes to put them in order. I was like, okay, here we have some brushes that I do not use. First of all, it's these four. Uh, I don't know where they are from, but I had them in my collection a long time. And I don't use them, like, where should I use this? This perhaps is for the lips, but I, as I say, I don't, I don't tend to stick things in, in products. I do more apply it. So these I have never used, I think. So they are going. I also found these two. Oops, and there is a hair attached to it. Uh, these two, I um, don't know where they are from. They must be from one of my, like two of my palettes. Can't remember which one. Because the thing that I've done now is I have taken out um, all my eyeshadows in my palettes and put it in my MAC MAC palettes because instead of having a big palette like this I have a palette like this but with three or four palettes 
other palettes so I have like incorporated to one so it's more compact instead of having a lot of palettes that I had before so I've taken out the the, the brushes so I don't know from what product this is from this product I do know where it's from this uh, looks like really strange but this was actually a dual ended um, brush from H&M so it was the powder brush and the concealer or foundation brush the thing is I don't like have dual ended brushes because then it's always one part that is going to be like down in the the, the container like you that you store it in and I don't like it like that so I took it apart <laughs> by myself and I was like I'm gonna use this but I don't like I haven't used these perhaps I can use this when I'm traveling but right now like I do not bring I don't bring this I haven't brought this the last couple of travels so I don't see myself doing that to be honest uh, when I went through my makeup uh, last when I used up the elf um, powder I was like okay now I'm going to use another powder and I started using this this is the Bella Pierre cosmetics uh, mineral foundation I got this many many years ago when I was in Finland when we were there with the exchange students and I thought it was good but that is I can say like five five years ago five six years ago I think um, and I started applying this and it was like okay it's good but throughout the day it got more it looked more cakey and cakey and I got a little bit of rashes around my uh, mouth so I was like eh, I shouldn't be using this and the thing is this is quite expensive items but I haven't used it um, it doesn't smell anything and this says it's actually nutmeg but I know she she mixed it uh, with something else and the thing is it also have SPF 15 I don't know there was someone said that if products have SPF 15 then when the what should I say when the the expiration date is uh, gone then you shouldn't like use it because it has something in it to have the SPF 15 have, have the SPF so I was like mm, it's not that good and like I said I got breakouts and I didn't want to have more I also cleaned out some eyeshadows that I haven't used I did say I like them from the start and they are nice colors and I do use use these kind of colors but I don't use eyeshadows that often and when I do I tend to use brown or golden or like dark green and not pink like this one I hope you can see that uh, this is lilac and this is light blue so unfortunately I'm not going to use them and these ones I will like put in um, I have a special bag for the items that I don't that I have like declutter that I think that still some other people can use instead of me this one I will not put in that because since it's gone I will actually put this amongst the empty items even though it's not empty clearly not empty but this is something I will not uh, like say to someone to use instead of me but these are still good like they are not old and like eyeshadow you can always use but it's not not my colors unfortunately I do like purple I do use purple but not these kind of uh, colors because these two are too light they will like disappear on me the the light blue and the mm, lilac this one the pinkish one might work but I do not use it that much because then when I do use it it looks like I have been in a fight unfortunately so that is everything I think yes have everything spread around me and uh, I'll have to clean this up but that was uh, all and 
some items I know will already be gone in some days from that I have up here and in my shower. And yeah, they will appear in the next empties video. And then I will do that in the beginning of January. And when I've done that, I will also do the 2017 year's empties. So I will go through all the empties I have and show you how much I have used up. Even though I am not a person that used that much makeup. As you can see, today is no makeup day. I haven't fixed my eyebrows, nothing. So yeah, but that was everything. I hope you have a nice day. It's Saturday, so I hope you are chilling. And Sunday, hope your diet will be good too. And that is first of uh, first advent. You call that? Yeah, here in Sweden we have first advent. Um, I don't know what you call it, but that means it's three weeks more to Christmas. So yeah, hope you have a nice day, and I will see you next time. Bye.